hello there how's it going so in this video i want to quickly show you how to send your spark lock into a file so say you have this lock in the console instead of being in the console you want to send them to a file the way you can do that is um, by using log4j the first thing you need to do is you need to create a log4j.properties file in your uh, resource folder so I've got a resource folder here. What I will do is quickly create a, a file here. File, then log 4j dot properties. So this is created. So the next thing I need to do is basically have all the log parameters specified here. So and what i need to specify first is the root logger the root logger in when you specify the root logger you are basically specifying the log level so say for example this info is a log level and this one as well is a log level so first of all let me uh, show you the uh, type of log level we have so we have uh, the lowest rank is a uh, debug we have debug we have uh, the second uh, one is uh, one we have one and we have info we have um, uh, info we have uh, error and I think the last one which is the highest one is fit or something like that so um, now let's specify the root logger so uh, define define root uh, logger um, so to do this right you need to say uh, log 4j dot uh, root logger equal to so say um, if you specify the bug right it will basically get all the log from the bug to this point uh, that will be lots of logs i want to specify from info so i'll just get this info and error so i'll say info info so another thing you need to specify is the location so you basically need to send your log to some somewhere right and that place you need to send it to is file. So in this case, you specify the type of uh, location you need to send the log to, which is file. So you need to specify file. And uh, the next thing we, is uh, we we need to define the appender type. So say define define the log appender appender. So, in this case, I'm going to use a file appender. You, you need to type a log 4j dot appender. Appender. Since I'm going to use a file, I'll say file. Then, I'll basically, we're going to get the uh, appender type from uh, org. Or, um, org dot apache dot log 4j dot file appender you can see from here you have a file appender then the next thing is uh, we need to define the location where the log is going to go into so that will be log 4j dot appender I'm sorry about my voice this is, this is a bit bad then dot um, dot file and dot uh, file so that will be the location of this uh, uh, where the log needs to go into so i will say i want to put in the src folder so src src then i want to basically create a, a tmp directory and uh, inside the tmp directory i'll say log 4j then out so this is basically the uh, appender definition 
the next thing we need to do is define the layout of the appender. I think this should be five file file appender. So the next thing is um, okay. I define the um, appender layout. So we say log four uh, j dot appender appender dot file because we are using file appender then dot layout. So the layout is going to be um pattern layout because we are going to uh, use pattern to specify the layout of the of the file so we say we say um org dot apache dot log 4 j dot um pattern so yeah pattern layout here then we now specify the pattern log for j dot appender appender dot file dot layout dot we are going to use a uh, conversion parts version huh? parts equal to so I think you can if you go online you can see different uh, log for j parts I don't maybe it's here uh, not this one so I mean you can search online for different log 4 you but I don't have time to do that anyway we have a, a pattern for date say percentage D yeah, that is the one for date so you can specify your date format um, so we use a y y y y which represent year and month and day then the uh, time will be hour minutes second then we can specify the log level type say say for example the log level is info warning so we want to get this information like this right so we say all uh, right here it's the by default it use space but i'm going to use uh, a hyphen so hyphen space hyphen space then the percentage p then i uh, then the message then the message so we say percentage um m for message then uh, at the end of the message we want to uh, go to a new line so we say percentage n line break so that is the that is it the uh, uh property configuration is done um we can save this and um, this is the one application we are running so we we run this one so we should be able to get the tmp file somewhere here and we, we we are not going to see the log on the console again except the output all right now the uh, output is shown here and this temp file temp file has been created if we go inside temp file we see log 4g and out so click it you can see these are the uh, logs information logs message so yeah so that that is basically how you can accomplish that and another thing i want to show you is um, say for example you want to log an error to the console um you, you can do that i'm going to use a, a scala login if i go to my palm here i have a dependency for uh, scala lazy login uh, type safe then scala login uh, you can get this dependence from maybe repository so if i go to my uh, class i can basically extend this uh, class with a uh, uh, lazy login yeah so and um, here i can 
I can create raise an exception here. Say, uh, so I will use uh, try and catch to raise the exception, right? So say try and catch. So inside the try, I want to use a require. Require is it, it basically return unit, right? You can put your condition in the require uh, method or function, right? So say for example, in our case, we want to fill this uh, application at this uh, stage. So we say mtdf2 dot is empty. So that is true, right? It's empty, but we want to fill it, we say, if it's not empty, right? In this case, right? If it's failed, right? If it's failed, we want to output a, 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 an error message. And the message for this particular failure would be, uh, let's say, requirement failed. And uh, we say data frame is empty. So, let's put this exclamation mark and uh, in the case uh, if it it passed we want to basically show the data frame mtdf2 dot show then in our exception in our catch uh, we want to say case e so um, i'm going to use logger here right so we have uh, use the um, lazy login here so I'm going to say logger dot error then the error message will be e dot get message so e dot get message uh, will be this error message in case it failed so uh, now let's I'm going to delete this right and basically run it again So let's give it another one. Okay, it should create a, a term. Huh? So you can see, let's go here. All right, you can see our, this is our log, right? This is the error, right? The error log level, right? So you can see requirement failed. Uh, basically, that's the default one, right? So this is our message, right? The one. We up, uh, we specify requirement fill. Data frame is empty. So, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment. Have a lovely day and goodbye.